Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you all my wasted GCSE revision. Seems that GCSEs are cancelled. I thought that I would show you all my revision for it. So I hope you enjoy the video. If you do, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And without further ado, let's just get straight on into the video. So this is the layout for my revision. So the first thing that I'm going to start with is my textbooks so these are my textbooks and workbooks revision guides and everything like that so the first one that i've got is this my revision notes gcse history workbook and this is literally amazing i use this for literally all of my history course and it has like the revision plan it's literally just amazing then I have some more history ones. I've got the Conflict Intention Revision Guide and Workbook. The Health Britain and the People Revision Guide and Workbook. The America 1920 till 1973 Opportunity and Inequality Revision Guide. And then I have this little book that school printed off for us all on the people of america and the boom the bust everything like that that was super super handy and then the last history revision guide i've got is this gcse history one and this is just the revision guide and these were so so helpful i think these literally saved me in history with my mocks and stuff they were literally a lifesaver so as you can see i have got a lot of history ones then I've got some English language ones. I've got the GCSE AQA English Language Revision Guide. The same but for the workbook. And then I've got the English Language and Literature Revision Guide. The Spelling, Punctuation and Grammar Workbook. The GCSE English Literature anthology guide so i just annotated all my poems in this as you can see and then i've got a load of english literature so i've got the aqa power and conflict poetry guide the unseen poetry poetry guide the text for macbeth the text guide for macbeth the text guide for Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. And the text guide for an inspector calls. And then I have got my texts. So I've got the inspector calls textbook. The no fear Shakespeare. And this is just to help me understand Macbeth in like proper English. Do you know what I mean? So that was really helpful. And then I've got the Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde book. Moving on to the next textbooks, I have got the GCSE Spanish. This was just to help me learn Spanish for my Duke of Edinburgh. I don't actually do Spanish. Then I have got the GCSE AQA Geography Complete Revision and Practice Guide. This was a lifesaver for me for geography. It was so, so good. It helped me so, so much in my mocks and I ended up getting sevens in my mocks. So I was really, really happy with that. Then I have got the maths revision guide. So I've got the workbook here and the revision guide. I do foundation maths and yeah. Then I've got this GCSE mathematics 10 minute test. And these were super, super helpful. I didn't actually complete them all. But yeah, this was helpful for the first few tests that I did do. And then I've got my science ones. So I've got the combined science revision guide for the higher level. And I've obviously got the same, but the workbook. And then I have got the GCSE AQA French, the complete revision and practice. And this was so helpful because it has like the listening disc at the back. It was so, so helpful in helping me pass my reading, my listening, my writing, literally everything. It was a lifesaver. And then I've got this GCSE AQA French one, and this is just the revision guide. Then I have got the GCSE AQA French exam practice workbook. That was really helpful with the writing tasks. 
And then I've got my GCSE AQA business revision guide and the same but the workbook edition. And then the last thing that I've got is this GCSE French vocab book. And this was so helpful because it just helped me learn all the vocab. And you have like little boxes saying, had a look, nearly there and nailed it. So you could tick those, how you felt on that topic. So yeah, that was super, super helpful. And yeah, that is all my revision guides and workbooks. Now I'm going to move on to my plastic wallet. This was basically just the sheets and practice papers and mocks and things like that, that didn't fit into my folders, which I'll show you after this. But yeah, I'm gonna show you these now. So this is my chemistry one and I basically just did practice questions and my mocks in this and yeah, it was super helpful. And then this is my physics one. And in here, I just had my mocks and things. It's basically the same, but for all of them. So that's my biology one. That's my business studies one. My English literature. I didn't put my mocks in here. This is just sheets of paper that wouldn't go in my folder. So this is just my annotations for the tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow speech in Macbeth. Then I've got this one with my French in it, and this has just got all my general conversation things in it. It's super helpful for keeping all my French work together. This is my mat, and this has just got flashcards and things in it. This one is my geography, and this one actually hasn't got anything in it. This is my English language one, and I just put things like my mocks in here again, and practice questions and papers, and things like that my imaginative writing and things like that so yeah here I've got like a little guide of when to revise and things that was super helpful and then I've got my history one in here is literally a ton of stuff this is basically just the topic tests that we did for history and I used to do really really well in my topic tests we didn't do them so much in year 11 but we did them so much in year 10 and these are basically the ones from year 10 and then in this plastic wallet here I basically just have general conversation stuff for French so yeah those are all of my plastic wallets so now I'm going to move on to my folders. So as you can see, I've got this box full of folders here and just wallets here at the back. But yeah, I'm going to go through these three first. This one here is my maths folder. So in here, I just had past papers at the front with flashcards. And then I just did like tests and then work. So I've got like frequency tables here and just more work as you can see here i've got solving equations algebra inequalities rotations and things translations and then just like some simplified questions and some like assessment sheets um, maths genie questions so yeah that is my maths folder this is my english literature folder i love this folder so so much the color is so pretty but here i have just got so i split it up into paper one and paper two so here i've just got my flashcards for macbeth and jekyll and hyde and then i've got a little macbeth section didn't actually do anything in it and then i've got my jekyll and hyde section where i've just got like plots characters it's kind of broken this folder now because i've used it so much i've got jekyll and hyde quotes i've got jekyll and hyde resource booklets and some other bits of paper in there and some booklets and things and then this is my paper two i've got the power and conflict poetry revision cards and the inspector calls and then i've got the same here it's split up into an inspector calls which i've only got some notes from an English revision session that I went to and then power and conflict poetry where I just did like mind maps and stuff on the poems and how they link and then I've got some exam questions in there I have done some of them but I didn't get all the way through and then I've got some notes on comparing London with Ozymandias so yeah that is my English folder this is my English language folder it's super super pretty I didn't really do that much for English language because 
it's just mainly practice questions that I did. However, I did make some posts and things. So as you can see here, I just made a little poster on similes, metaphors and personification. And then I've got some on some narrative hooks here. And then I've got SSLLS paragraphs and some examples. And then I've got some varied sentence starts, sentence forms for effect long and complex sentences, short, simple sentences, and just examples. Then I've got sentence functions. And then I've got a whole post on how to do commas. I've got some structural devices here. And then at the back, I have just got some pages and sheets and things. And then I've got flashcards on like high level words, like ubiquitous, for example, as you can see. And yeah, that was super, super helpful for so me. Those are all the folders there. So now I'm going to move on to these folders here. So this is the first folder that's in the box. And this is just a really cute folder. And this is my history revision folder. So in here, I've just got a ton of mind maps for history. So I'm going to quickly go through these now. So I've got one on the boom. I've got causes of the economic boom again. Got the Republican economic policies the social and cultural developments, the life and role of women in the 1920s, the divided society like organised crime, prohibition, the Ku Klux Klan, I've got the Depression, Roosevelt's New Deal and the opposition to it, popular culture, the impact of World War II on the lives of black Americans and women, America's economic recovery, the post-war racial tension and developments. America and the Great Society, so that the policies of the presidents of Johnson and Kennedy. The development and impact of the feminist movement. The Treaty of Versailles and the opinions about it. The aims of the peacemakers. The Versailles Settlement. Then I've got a whole poster here on the League of Nations. Then I've got the League of Nations, the formation, the structure and weaknesses of the League, diplomacy outside the League, the Manchurian and Abyssinian crisis, the development of tension, escalation of tension, the causes of World War II, medieval medicine, medical progress, and that's where I got up to and I just had a whole workbook on the timeline and things. And then I have a whole page here on how to answer the questions. And then this was the revision guide that I got and you had like to do one each week. So, yeah, that's as far as I got up to before the GCSEs were cancelled. So that's my history folder. This next folder is my geography folder in here. I've just got my year 10 mark. I didn't do too well in, in year 10. And then I have just got some fieldwork questions. And then over here, I have got mind maps on the opportunities of Lagos. Here, I have got the urban issues and challenges case study. I really recommend printing out the case studies, by the way, guys. It's so, so helpful. And then here, I've got like physical geography. So I've got a whole mind map on ecosystems. And then I've got some on like some animals that I made in year nine. Deserts and then some opportunities associated with the tar desert. And then I've got some poses on river processes, ways a river erodes, transports its load, key definitions, formation of waterfalls, formation of gorges, and some information on interlocking spurs. And then I've got some meanders here. And then here I've got some flashcards. So yeah, I love the way I make my flashcards. So if you want to see a video on that, please let me know. But yeah, I've got a whole booklet on the challenges of natural hazards of climate change. Here I've got my flashcards and natural hazards and things. And yeah, that is my geography folder. This next folder is my science folder. So this is extremely full. But as you can see here, I've got biology paper one. And I've just got all my revision from biology paper one as you can see and then i just did like these and stuff key 
few things and then and i have got this pocket here full of flashcards from the mall i made mind maps for them and flashcards because i really struggled with biology and then here i've got my biology paper too and i've just got notes in here because i didn't really make flashcards on paper too for biology because schools were closed before i had chance and then i've got my physics paper one here and i've just got i made these to put on my wall with all the equations on so that i could learn those and then here i've just got flashcards on my paper one things as you can see and then here's my physics paper two so i tried a lot more with physics paper two than paper one i've got no idea why so i've got flashcards, and then i've got some more flashcards here i started off making cue cards and they did work for me however these really did work for me so yeah i'm super happy with those flashcards. i made some posters that you can probably see at the back here too so yeah and then I've got my chemistry paper one. So I revised differently for chemistry than both physics and biology. So I just made like posters. So I've got here atomic structure. I've got the development of the model of the atom. I've got separating mixtures, the periodic table. And then I've got a whole poster on bonding and structure. And then I've got some moles practice from C3. And then I've got extracting metals, naming salts, making salts, molten and aqueous electrolysis, the equations of which salts can be made, so neutralisation reactions, electrolysis of molten ionic compounds like diagrams. And then I've got the reactivity series. It's actually upside down, but it's fine. Uh, then I've got the exothermic and endothermic reactions. The reaction profiles, the energy changes, the bond energies practice, and then I've got some flashcards on things like low reactivity and the flashcards on C3 and just key things, definitions on these flashcards, and that was really, really helpful. I went from not passing chemistry to a seven, so this way of revising definitely does work i will make a whole video on how i make my notes so look forward to that and then here i've got my chemistry paper too and here i've just got rates of reaction catalysts i've got le chatelier's principle i think that's how you say it and then i've got crude oil and alkanes fractional distillation and combustion cracking alkenes purity chromatography again required practical i really recommend that you learn all the required practicals because they are a huge chunk of your exam testing for gases and then i've got a whole poster on how the earth was formed how to answer the six marks question about how the earth formed greenhouse gases and climate change all about the greenhouse effect and things then i've got the carbon cycle here i've got pollutants from burning fuels and here i've got flashcards on rf values and how to work those out and posters here and as you can see this one is on equilibrium so yeah that is basically my science folder this next folder is my french one i literally did hardly any french i used like workbooks and things instead but here i've just got like a poster on theme one and as you can see i actually didn't really do anything which is annoying but yeah here i've just got packs of flashcards where you can see i have got flashcards on key vocab that i needed to know and then here i've got my general conversation flashcards so i put like the question on the front and then the answer on the back and this was really helpful in teaching me my general conversation i got eights and nines in the conversation 
so I'm super happy with that. It definitely brought my grade up. If you do French and you're struggling to learn your general conversation, this is definitely the best way to do it. I definitely recommend it. But yeah, that's my French folder. These two folders here are my history folder from my classwork. So I'm not going to go through that because it's literally all my classwork. So I'm going to move on to these folders here now. So this is the first folder and I believe this is my business folder. So in here I just did dice questions and things like that. It was just to help me. And this is like a little mini test. But yeah. This one is my English literature mock exams and it's just got some work in there as well. So yeah, that is that folder. Then I've got this folder here. This is my English language folder with mocks and things in. I'm not gonna show you some of this because it's got my school on, so yeah. And then I've got this one here and this is my English language mock exams again. And this has just got like practice questions in obviously it's got my mocks in it so i didn't do too well on that mock as you can probably see um however i did really well on that one i got a seven but yeah that's got all my mocks in then i have got this folder here and this is just full of my geography work so yeah i got a grade six on that mock there which is not my best but it's okay and then here i've just got some practice papers and in here as well there is so much revision things so i've got like case studies for geography and revision lists and literally everything it's got model answers here as well to past exam questions it is so so helpful so yeah that's definitely definitely helped me with my gcse geography this folder here is my paper one physical geography and this has just got my booklet in for my desert and rainforests and ecosystems and everything like that so yeah this one is my paper two human geography one and in here basically i have just got some marks from my human side of geography i've got my case studies and everything like that but yeah that and then this is the last one that i've got and this is just my unit three fold so that's like my field work this is my mock feedback from november i've just got some other bits and pieces in here but yeah that's that folder so yeah that is all my folders in this big box here i've basically just got all the books from year 10 and 11 so i've kind of split it up so i've got like english up to here for example then geography french and everything like that so that is really really organized as you can see and over here is really really messy but i've just got like plastic wallet a load of flashcards and things and then up here i've just got some more flashcards calculator and a box full of pens my highlighters so yeah that is all my gcse revision i really hope you enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up comment down below what you've done with your gcse revision if you're in year 11 and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you all in my next video bye guys